Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to give you a quick tip on how to use your charging hub for the brand new Mavic Mini. Now, at first glance, it might look like a really simple device to use. Rick, why are you doing a clip on it? And you'd be right. You basically slide three batteries into it. You plug the charger into a wall outlet. You use the cable that they've supplied with the unit, plug it into the side, and you're off and running. But there are a few things you need to know about the charging hub that really make it kind of unique. The first one has to do with the way it decides which battery to charge, because you would naturally think having three batteries in there, it would simultaneously charge all three batteries at the same time, and that's not the case. There's actually brains inside the unit that checks all the batteries that are inserted into the unit, and it finds the one that needs the least amount of charge, and it'll start delivering electrons to that battery first. When that's finished, it'll move on to the next one that needs the least amount of charge, charge that, and move on to the third one. And you might be wondering, why did they do that? Well, think about it. When you put your batteries in the hub, What's your main intent? You want to get the batteries charged quickly so you can get back out and flying. Well, of the three batteries, which one of the batteries can you get back out flying with quicker? It's going to be the one that needs the least amount of charge. So I think they were smart when they put the logic together to charge that one first. So you'll notice when you first power it up, you'll see all the lights come on, and that's the unit itself checking to make sure it understands which battery needs that charge first. So that's the first thing it'll do. Another thing I want to discuss is the way you charge this unit, because it is a micro USB connection, which I know a lot of people are disappointed about. They thought, oh, why isn't it USB-C? That's the upcoming standard. For me, it's not that big a deal. I would have loved for it to have been USB-C. What I care more about, though, is that I can quick charge the batteries, which is something they've definitely enabled on this product. But to do that, you have to have the right charger and the right cable. And luckily, DJI has given you all of those included in the kit. So when you plug the charger into the wall outlet, plug your cable into the charger, then plug it into the side of the unit. I'll show you that uh, strobing effect initially here. Let me plug this in. So watch the front of that. I don't know if you can see those lights or not, but it's gonna all come on, then it's gonna find the battery that needs the least amount of charge, and it's gonna quick charge this one. It's letting you know the middle one is pretty much fully charged at this point, and this guy will be next in line. But notice how those lights are strobing really quickly there, and I'll do a close-up of this to show you, but they're, they're strobing really quickly across the front. That's indicating that it's quick charging. Now, quick charging, is a new technology and there's two standards out there. There's PD, which is power delivery, and there's Qualcomm, which is used on a lot of the Android devices. This is using the Qualcomm standard. So if you're buying another wall charger to use with this, make sure you get one that's QC3 or QC2 compatible and you'll be able to quick charge this unit. The other thing that's important is not all these cables are created equal. So they may look the same. You can buy a lot of USB-A to micro USB cables out there, but they won't quick charge because they have to have the right gauge of wire inside. They've got to have the right um, level of intelligence, so to speak, in the wiring and the way it's, it's set up to the connection to be able to quick charge. So if you use the original charger and the original cable they sent you, you can quick charge this unit. But then I was wondering, I got the Flymore combination and they included a second charger cable. And I'm thinking, well, why would you include that? I, I've got one charger, so do I buy a second charger and use this to charge the handset or the controller? And yeah, I could do that for sure, but I'm also looking at the side of this unit, and as I mentioned in the unboxing video, there's a full-size USB-A connection on there. So I started thinking, well, geez, I've got all this potential in here with these batteries, and you're giving me a full-size USB-A connection, this is an input connection for me to charge the unit. I bet that's an output connection for me to allow to charge other devices, and in fact, that that's exactly the case. So if you plug this into the side, you can charge any device externally that you can put a cable to. So right now they gave you a micro USB cable because you're using it to charge the controller, but you can see now that the charger is actually supplying current to charge the controller. And it's doing that pretty quickly. So I love the fact that after a long day of flying, I can actually use this as a portable battery bank to charge my phone or my controller maybe heading to the next location. But then I thought, let me take it a step further. Wouldn't it be cool if they not only allowed me to charge the battery bank but also pass through some current to charge an external device at the same time. And I thought, that's why they put the second cable in there. So let's try that. So I've got the controller hooked up. Let me hook up the power supply to this to see if that in fact happens. Now, what I'm hoping happens here is that the batteries start charging and the controller continues to charge. And boy, was I disappointed because the minute you do that, the battery pack starts charging, but the controller goes dead. So you can't daisy chain products off the back of this, which would have been a really brilliant move. So I love the fact that they came up with this charging hub, and I think they've done a lot of really smart things with it, but it's a little frustrating they didn't pass current out at the same time they're charging it, and that could have to do with the way the charger supplies the current. Maybe it's not uh, it's not strong enough, or actually maybe this isn't a quick charge capable device, and you can't have quick charge devices and regular devices charging at the same time. So I'll look into that a little bit further, but I will point out a couple more things. If you're going to replace this cable, because the cable is pretty short, right, make sure you get a cable that is quick charge compatible. So I've got a cable here that we sell on the website. It's a nice long cable, it's nylon, it's very flexible. So if you need a longer cable, check out the website. 
but make sure the cable can quick charge because even though you have a quick charging charger, if you buy an inexpensive cable that can't quick charge, you won't be able to quick charge anything. So here's the cable and you can see that I'm, I'm quick charging. So it takes a second to make the adjustment and boom, it goes right into quick charge mode. Now, you'll also have to make sure that you've got the right charger because chargers can vary. Most of the wall chargers you're using for your devices today are standard five volt and certain current output type devices. You can buy them as, as inexpensively as a five volt, one amp, one and a half amp, two amp, two and a half amp, even some three amp chargers out there. It's really important that if you're gonna quick charge these devices that you have a quick charge compatible charger. And what that means is it's no longer just a five volt charger. It can actually sense what kind of device you're hooking up to it and it can make adjustments in the voltage and the current to adjust for charging that device as quickly as possible. Now the one DJI gave us is a quick charging charger so everything's good to go. But if you go out there and buy an inexpensive charger like this guy, which looks almost exactly like the DJI charger, that's a standard five volt charger at one amp, which is the lowest current it can supply. So there's not a lot of electrons flying out of it. Plus it's five volts. It can't adjust for nine volts or 12 volts like the Qualcomm chargers can. So I'm gonna plug it in and you'll notice pretty quickly that it does start charging, but watch what happens. Look how slow those lights are moving. Right? And that's a real good indication of how many electrons are being fired through the wire to charge these guys up. So think of this as filling up a big glass of water and pouring water into it really slowly as opposed to the quick charger, which is just pouring it in really, really quickly. So you can charge it from any standard wall charger or any standard car charger, but it's typically going to charge it slower than if you're using a Qualcomm charger to do that. Now, we're inventing products every day. We're designing products. So I've got cables out, single cables that'll fast charge this. I have a brand new three-way cable we're going to be releasing this week that has three heads on it a micro USB for your drone, a micro USB for your controller, and a third connection that's a USB-C with two adapters to change it into either a third micro USB or even an Apple connection. So if you're looking for one cable to charge everything, check the website coming Friday or Saturday this week, you'll see it. But again, the question here is, you can fast charge this if you use the original charger and the original cable, or if you're gonna replace those, make sure you get a Qualcomm type charger and you use a cable that can actually fast charge and you'll be good to go. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So hopefully you're finding these clips helpful. Anytime I talk about technology like this, I like to dive into it a little bit deeper and give you all the details you need. If I've missed anything, Drop your questions in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, also, if you have suggestions for things you want me to cover on the channel, things that you would do with the drone normally, I'll be more than happy to put a clip together. So drop those in the comments below as well. And that's pretty much it for today. So thanks for all your support. And until next time, happy flying.